three people killed in Iran protest over death of Masha Emini. Iranian government officials have denounced a fourth day of protests after the death of a 22 years old Kurdish woman in police custody, claiming the demonstrators have fallen victim to a conspiracy by its enemy. Masha Amini died on Friday after she was arrested by the morality police for not wearing the hijab and her trouser correctly, a tragic episode that has unleashed fury in the street against unaccountable and sometimes brutal treatment handed out to women by this branch of the police. Women and men took to the street in cities and towns across the country for the fourth evening in a row Tuesdays, despite the death of at least three people in the protests on Monday. Shouting slogan against Iran clerical leadership, images posted on social media showed local petition have been started calling for the disbandment of the morality police, saying their action enforcing the hijab are counterproductive and discriminatory. Earlier on Tuesday, Mohsen Mansouri, the governor of Tehran, tweeted the main elements of the initial core of the gathering in the Tehran tonight were fully organized, trained and planned to create disturbance in Tehran, burning the flag, pouring the zells on the road, throwing stone, attacking the police, setting fire to the engine and garbage can, destroying public property, are not the work of ordinary people. Some Iranian lawmaker claims outsider, including news organization backed by Iran's enemy in Saudi Arabia, were exploiting her death. They nevertheless continue to promise an inquiry. The scale of the violence and the number of arrests on Monday nights are hard to assess independently. However, videos of beating and protests were posted on social media, including footage with the sound of gunfire. The Kurdish human rights group Hangwa, which is based in Norway, said it had confirmed three deaths at rallies in Kurdistan's province, one in each of the town of Divandaraj, Saki, and Daylan. It added that 221 people had been wounded and another 250 arrested in the Kurdistan region, where there had also been a general strike on Monday. A 10-year-old girl, blood spatter image of whom have gone viral on social media, was wounded in the town of Bukhan, but was alive, it added. On Tuesday, the governor of Iran Kurdistan regions, Ismail Zare Kusha, confirmed three people had been killed, but blamed the death on a plot by the enemy, according to the state affiliates far new agency. One of the citizens of the city of Davandaraj was killed with a type of military weapons that none of the rank of the armed force use, he was quoted as saying. Many protests were peaceful, including the placing of a banner, disciting Anmini on a bridge across a Tehran main highway. The controversy is sensitive for the Iranian president, Arabim Raisi, who is currently in New York to address the UN General Assembly for the first time. Human rights group in New York are protesting against his presence and launching legal action against him. A sign that authorities were concerned the anger could spiritual out their control and aid the country's supreme leader. The regime is determined to argue that she died in police custody, not due to any beating but as a result of pre-existing brain condition and an operation conducted when she was five. CT scan of her brain released by the hospital have become the subject of the medical dispute, with government supporters citing neurologicals claiming they show the psychological stress was caused by the previous brain operation. The official government news site said it could take three weeks for the injury to reach a conclusion. Nada al Nashiv. The acting UN High Commissioner for Human Rights said, Masha Amini's tragic death and allegations of torture and ill treatment must be promptly, imperishably, and effectively investigated by an independent, commenting authority. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.